Humans of the planet Earth, while you slept, the world changed. To me, my X-Men. The House of X, Chapter 1. The house that Xavier built. Five months ago, Krakoa. Four months ago, Westchester. Three months ago, the blue area of the moon. Two months ago, Mars. One month ago, the Savage Land. Three weeks ago, Washington, D.C. Two weeks ago, the Jerusalem Habitat. Now. Ambassador, you look tired. How was your flight? Same as yours, I'd guess. Unexpected. Charles Xavier decides to deliver a telepathic message to the world. An offer we can't refuse, and here we are, at a habitat I didn't know existed. Recognizing the sovereignty of a nation-state I'd never heard of until four days ago. How's this saying go? May you live in interesting times. Personally, I'd settle for a bit of predictability and a good night's sleep. Unfortunately, these things I cannot see happening. You're apprehensive. I am. It's the designer drug thing, no? It is a problem. A drug that extends human life five years, another that prevents diseases of the mind, and a third that is the most effective, adaptive antibiotic the world has ever seen. You say it's a problem. I would call it a gift. It's not a gift if you have to pay. Xavier's only offering these miracle drugs to nations who recognize his. Well, that's called leverage. God knows none of us would ever dare such a thing. Trade deals, treaties, the money and power of it all, these are complications you are all familiar with. What should concern you is the amnesty. You think so? I seem to remember something someone said once, something about appearing to be one thing while actually being another. You're not actually going to quote Sun Tzu, are you, Ambassador? Why bother? It's not a war if they've already won. Hmm. Is that your position, or the position of the Chinese government? I have been ordered, if put to the question, to accept Xavier's deal. We see the potential of it. Excuse me, ambassadors. We're sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, come inside. Welcome to this Krakoan habitat. I'm Esme. This is Sophie. Actually, Sophie's my human name. I am thinking of taking another. Anyway, we, along with our sisters, are acting as the temporary staff for this habitat until we're fully up and running. Can I offer anyone something to drink? I'm fine. When will we be meeting with Xavier? Charles won't be joining us today. He is otherwise engaged. I admit, I'm a poor substitute, but hopefully I'll manage. Magneto. Please, Ambassador is fine. Follow me, I'll give you the tour. The Flowers of Krakoa. The mutant island of Krakoa is not just the home of mutants and the seat of their nation state. It is also the only known producer of the primary economic resource of the mutant nation, the Flowers of Krakoa. For humans, human drug L, delivery mechanism, fabricated, synthesized pill. This flower produces a drug that extends the life of a human for five years. Human drug I, delivery mechanism, fabricated, synthesized pill. This flower produces an adaptive universal antibiotic, a super drug for humans. Human drug M, delivery mechanism, fabricated, synthesized pill. This flower produces a drug that cures diseases of the mind in humans. For mutants, gateways, delivery mechanism, flower. This flower grows a gateway, 
a pathway from where one is planted in its twin gateway on Krakoa. Habitat. Delivery mechanism. Flower. This flower produces a habitat. A habitat is a golf-sustaining environment, a biome that is part of the interconnected consciousness of Krakoa. No place. Delivery mechanism. Flower. This non-naturally occurring flower produces a habitat that exists outside the collective consciousness of Krakoa. A place within the island ecosystem that Krakoa doesn't know exists. A Krakoan tumor. The Grey Malican Habitat. Westchester, New York. Can anyone travel through the gateway, Miss Grey? No, not everyone. Any mutant can, of course. Krakoa recognizes its own. But anyone or anything that isn't a mutant must be accompanied by one. And even then, we have to ask for permission. You see, Karakoa is very protective, and it's always important to have good manners. Okay, here we go. Just walk through, and then we'll be on the island. Incoming Sandra Yeo, Wench. Incoming Robert Wynn, Sonos Rex. Incoming Sean Cassidy, Banshee. Incoming Desmond Ochoa Diaz, Fauna. Incoming Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. The interface has to count at 12. Cypher, can you confirm? Checks out with Krakoa. See, I told you it would work, Sage. Last week you built an entire system to manage the traffic of the Krakoa network from scratch. And how cool was that? Coded in a language only you and the island can speak, and bioengineered to run on light and not electricity. Yeah, I can't believe I doubted you. It's time to get with the program, Sage. You need to bury all that cynicism and replace it with good old-fashioned hope. The professor's changed all the old rules, and we've entered a whole new world. Whoa. Yeah, that does about cover it. The plan is for most of the younger mutants to live in the habitat near the lagoon. But there really aren't any rules regarding that. So, if you see somewhere else you'd rather be, that's perfectly fine. Uh, oh. Wow. <gasps> Look! That's Professor Xavier! Over there with that hairy guy! Yes. Why don't you go introduce yourself? And the hairy guy's name is Logan. Welcome home, Jean. You're safe here. We all are. Krakoa Pacific. 1. House of X. 2. House of M. 3. Arbor Magna. 4. Arena. 5. Akandimos Habitat. 6. Transit. 7. The Oracle. 8. The Grove. 9. The Cradle. 10. The Reservoir. 11. The Wild Hunt. 12. Carousel. There she is. Built on the bones of a planet killer, the Forge is our best hope to survive the coming days. I'm extending the docking collar. She's a Hail Mary for humanity, Agent Mendel. So be gentle when you give her a kiss. Roger that, sir. And... Contact. The light is green and we have a solid lock. Pressure's good. Okay, Dr. Gregor, you're free to board the station. But keep in mind the first ship of the Orcus convoy is approximately 22 hours away. So, if it's not too much trouble, let's start with diagnostics and make sure this place is actually capable of supporting human life before everyone arrives. I'm perfectly aware of the masterless hockey of needs, Erasmus. But I already had breakfast, and just maybe, I don't want to waste my entire morning by holding to berserk instincts. Practical is boring, dear. Be bold, would I say. She's engaging the safety override of her suit, sir. Of course she is. And this is why we don't have kids. It's about to get 10 degrees cooler than I'd like. But I'm guessing that's the environment control of program to support a full crew. The air's fine. Dr. Smith, please hand the diagnosis or as we would sleep tonight. Dr. King, if you don't mind, take a quick look at the power grid. Let's make sure we're about all the sunlight and the hitting us good and proper like. I don't really want to die of radiation poisoning. 
Karma, you're with me. Understood. So, what do you think? I think mistakes of this scale should take longer than six months to build. We've been told the forgery had been completed sooner, but the machines got the nitrogen and water levels wrong and we lost everything in the habitat. It turns out doomsday plans need a bit more flexibility the closer you get to the sun. I'm not surprised, Doctor. Those are the kinds of mistakes men usually make when being overly aggressive. Actually, you can't blame this on us, Karima. As soon as we had to models forecast the extent of what Xavier was planning, all cash protocols were annexed. We were activated, and the automated effort of the station began. Which is odd. I don't see any machines. I see no brothers. I see no sisters. That's because when construction was completed, all the machines were retarded for maintaining duty. We're going to need the resources. So there are mercury, evacuating heavy metals. But don't worry. If we need more, we'll have her build them. Hello, beautiful. Orcus Protocol. Initial establishment of Doomsday Network, based on evolutionary research regarding the extinction level, population density of Homo sapiens superior. See the Cro-Magnon problem by Dr. Ali Greger. Recruitment of assets in a strategic organization's aim, shield, strike, sword, alpha flight, hammer, armor, hydra, as well as funding from the black budgets and other human-centric financial considerations. Absorption and adaptation of various organizational assets into next generation infrastructure build for doomsday. Operating under the premise that there are three areas of concern population, financial, territorial. Orcus assets establish watchdog programs to observe undetected mutant influence. Orcus makeup 31% aim, 24% shield, 16% strike, 8% sword, 7% alpha flight, 5% hammer, 5% armor, 4% hydra. Two years ago, observation begins. One year ago, Population alert. Instances of X-gene activation have spiked along with the re-emergence of established mutant alpha types, long observed as active in the mutant cause. Six months ago, financial alert. Long observed shell companies wholly owned by the mutant activist Charles Xavier quietly purchased the seventh largest pharmaceutical company in the world and recently announced three new drugs, which are poised to destabilize that industry and spread throughout global financial sectors. Two months ago, territorial alert. The mutant nation of Krakoa established. Observation ends. Orcus protocol enacted. Replied, Ari. The Cro-Magnon problem by Dr. Alia Greger began as a humanitarian research into mutant repopulation following the Genosian genocide, which resulted in the deaths of over 16 million mutants. Dr. Greger postulated that, despite best efforts, mutantdom would not be able to repopulate to significant enough numbers to become the eventual dominant species of Homo sapiens on Earth due to factors involving environmental, technological, and specific scientific advancements in genetic engineering and artificial intelligence. What she found disproved her theory. Not only were mutants repopulating and reappearing at higher rate than expected, but a regression analysis of previous growth patterns of mutants revealed that, if not for Genosha, mutants would have become the dominant species on Earth within 10 years due to cascading biological and cultural mutant positive variables. What Genosha brought mankind was time that they didn't know they have. Dr. Greger's new timeline suggests that humanity has 12 years left. Orcus Command Structure Director Dr. Killian Devo, age 63 Affiliation Strike Head of Engineering Zaha Giri Age 37, Affiliation, Alpha Flight. Military Command, Colonel Walker Kin. Age 49, Affiliation, Shield. Scientific Command, Dr. Aliyah Greger. Age 32, Affiliation, AIM. Machine Liaison, Karima Shakandar. Age 28, Perpetual. Omega Sentinel, Affiliation, Unknown. Damage Control. Contested Storage Facility. This has gone south, Toad. And gone south quickly. How much longer? 
You think, you think it's easy searching the combined database of not one, but two of the smartest people in the world? The copying what we need and then, and then making it look like I was never here? Well, it's not, Mystique. I have limitations, and it's gonna take as long as... Okay, we can go. You probably shouldn't have wasted the effort making it look like we were never here. Others weren't so careful. Uh, I think... I think, uh, you broke a few of them, Sabretooth. Yeah, well, they were fragile. Then again, what ain't? There's never a good excuse for recklessness, Creed. Especially when the plan called for us to quietly get in and get out. Then lie low before we deliver the data. Now I think we're going to need a more direct exit strategy. Washington Square? Yes, that's the close. Both of you shut up. We got comp- Would you look at that, Ben? A bunch of no good thieves taking stuff that doesn't belong to them. Now what do we do to no good thieves? Nothing nice, Johnny. Both of you go on. I got this. That's mighty bold talk for a guy who smells like burnt hair. Smile, boy! If we don't get out of here with the data, this was all for nothing. We have to make the getaway. Should we run? I think we should run. Yes, run! Damage control. While this corporate entity traditionally serves in a quarantine or repair rebuild capacity, damage control also operates as the archival unit for the government contested metahuman machinery and technology that belongs to missing, incapacitated, or deceased individuals, where either a clear chain of custody does not exist, or the items in question pose an existential threat to the United States. Current inventory in the damage control contested storage facility is made up almost exclusively advanced schematics and disassembled material created or owned by Reed Richards. Mr. Fantastic, and Tony Stark, Iron Man. List of security items, level five. Soul's Anvil, Soul's Hammer, The Bridge. Iron Man Mark V, Iron Man Mark VI, Iron Man Mark VII, Iron Man Mark VIII, Rescue Mark I, Rescue Mark II, Anti-Proton Sling, Multiversal Beacon. In the recent past, both Stark and Richards have gone to great lengths to ensure that their technology did not fall into the hands of entities like damage control. But their normal avenue of evasion, leaving control of their intellectual property to each other, failed when Richards was missing for a prolonged period of time and Stark was presumed dead. Rights to all current material are being contested. If you look around, you'll see we've now left the habitat in Jerusalem behind. This gateway leads to this hub, and through this hub we can reach any number of other habitats and gateways. Each one a place of the larger, interconnected Krakoan ecosystem. How do you know which door leads where? I won't lie, at first it was easy to get turned around. Familiarity helps, but just to be safe, we asked Krakoa to grow some signs so no one would lose their way. See? Am I supposed to be able to read that? Of course not. It says nothing. It's gibberish. Well, it's certainly not Russian, English, French, or Chinese. But it is a language. Ours. It's Krakoan, and every mutant who lives among us has it telepathically imprinted in their cerebral cortex the day they arrive. Of course we did. One cannot create a distinct culture without it. And make no mistake, that is exactly what Charles Xavier is doing. Come on, let's go through here. As you can see, Krakoa is not limited by distance, or elevation, or even environment. Excuse me, I don't mean to spoil the Grand Tour. But at some point, we have to talk about the military aspects of all this. The inherent advantages of being able to move an army any distance without being seen is... Well... Let's just say you'd have to throw out a couple thousand years of military strategy. People are going to have a problem with this. Where you see an instrument of war, 
I see an unassailable refuge. That's quite a difference. Some would call that semantics. Either way, it's an advantage. There has never been a mutant war, Ambassador. We've never conquered a people, stolen their land, or made slaves of the vanquished. That's our real advantage. Excuse me, but uh, when are we actually going to go to Krakoa? Well, at this point, Krakoa is as much of an idea as it is an actual place. But if you mean the main island itself, we won't be going there. Why not? You have heard Charles Xavier's offer. Mutants are the evolutionary inheritors of this world. All of it. But instead of claiming it, we are giving it to you and keeping only a small portion for ourselves. The island you see is ours, and ours alone. Man is not welcome there. Creed, we're leaving. Quit fucking around, let's go. <clears throat> nice of you to show up, Sue. How'd you know where to cut them off? It was actually pretty simple once you identified them. There was really only one place they could conceive. Heads up, Reed. The gate's active again. Someone's coming through. Ah, how wonderful. The Richards family. And you, Ben. I hear you got married. Pazeltov. Ah, uh, thanks, Slim. Of course. And everyone else is fine? Doing well? You know, just the normal fireworks, Cyclops. What would life be without little surprises? So? So? Shall I take Mr. Creed off your hands? But we just caught him! Why would we do something like that? <sighs> You're a smart man, Dr. Richards. I know you know what amnesty means. I do. I also know that Sabretooth broke any number of laws in the last hour, including no small number of injuries to guards, and a high probability that some of those injuries are significant, possibly fatal. Are you really offering amnesty from that? It's upsetting, I know, but I'm afraid we are. New beginnings demand a wide berth. Then I think I have a problem with that. Fair enough. I can see you feel strongly about this. Why don't you keep him? We'll deal with it some other time. Some other way. What? Are you fucking kidding me, Summers? Shut up. Cyclops, this amnesty, the other things Xavier is doing, what are all of you thinking? My family has spent our entire lives being hunted and hated. The world has told me I was less when I knew I was more. Did you honestly think we were going to sit around forever and just take it? Of course not, but... It's really very simple, Susan. I believe in what Charles Xavier is doing. Please, greet your son for me. And tell him when he's ready, he has family on Krakoa waiting for him. Omega Level Omega level mutant, a mutant whose dominant power is deemed to register or reach an undefiable upper limit that powers specific classification. For example, both Magneto and Forge are the most powerful mutants of their power types on the planet Earth, Magnesium and Technopathy respectively. But what makes Magneto and not Forge, an Omega level mutant, that the upper limit of Forge's measurable powers could hypothetically be surpassed, and in fact, has by multiple humans on the planet. While the upper limit of Magneto's powers cannot be surpassed by any measurable fashion. Note, Omega level is a classification of a single mutant power. While it is quite common that mutants manifest multiple powers, only one is normally of Omega level. For example, while Jean Grey is both a telepath and a telekinetic, she is only an Omega Level telepath. Omega Level Mutants Known Name Jamie Braddock Alias Monarch Omega Power Reality Manipulation Quantum Alliance None Robert Drake Iceman Temperature Manipulation Negative Alliance Krakoa Joshua Foley Elixir 
Biokinesis, Alliance, Krakoa. Jean Grey, Marvel Girl, Telepathy, Alliance, Krakoa. David Holler, Legion, Power Manifestation, Alliance, Unknown. Eric Lyncher, Magneto, Magnetism, Alliance, Krakoa. Kevin McTaggart, Proteus, Reality Manipulation, Psionic, Alliance, Krakoa. Absalon, Mercator, Mr. M, Matter Manipulation, Alliance, Unknown. Ororo, Monroe, Storm, Weather Manipulation, Alliance, Krakoa. Bennett du Paris, Exodus, Telekinesis, Alliance, Unknown. Quentin Quire, Kid Omega, Telepathy, Krakoa. Franklin Richards, Powerhouse, Reality Manipulation, Universal, Alliance, Human. Gabriel Summers, Vulcan, Energy Manipulation, Alliance, Krakoa. Hope Summers, Hope, Power Manipulation, Alliance, Krakoa. Omega Protocol, while it is believed that a greater dynamo is possible through collective means, it is a current priority for the mutant nation of Krakoa to protect and nurture its greatest natural resource, Omega-level mutants. All efforts are to be expended in order to secure the future of the state. One people, one tribe, one family. The Krakoan Habitat, Jerusalem. So, what have we learned? That in return for recognizing Krakoa as a nation of good standing, you will... No, I wasn't speaking to you. Well, our host ambassador from Israel decided to join her fellow representatives from the Security Council today. She's with them, but not with them. She's also ex-military and doesn't really care for them. Or you, for that matter. But that's no surprise. As for the others, well, they've been trained to withstand telepathy. Just not trained well enough. They're all plans, sir. What? Outrageous! Ma Mingyu is actually the head of the state science office. Both he and the influential members of parliament are eager to agree to our terms. They see the political and scientific opportunity. Our symmetry represents. Jean-Pierre Coy actually is an ambassador. But he bought it with his private sector, pharmaceutical money. He'll agree to Xavier's terms if we allow him special access to our drugs. It's, how they say, a win-win. Natalia Valak is a Red Sky senior operator who would have never agreed with our terms. It's even more true now that she knows the others would. Am I right, or am I right? If this is what we have become, it might be best if we were replaced. Walter Ruppian is interesting. He's an agent of S-T-R-I-K-E. But he actually doesn't care about any of this. He's just here because he's been assigned to watch. Riley Marshall, who is an ex-S-H-I-E-L-D and S-W-O-R-D Black Ops agent. There's some other affiliation. But he's fighting me. Get out of my head. Oh, he also has a weapon of some sort. Would you like for me to do something about that, sir? No need. Ugh, I wasn't going to use it. It was for my protection. Of course, that's how it always starts. Should I show him out? No, some would be offended at a wolf presenting as a sheep. But I have learned hard lessons from your kind, so I know the truth. You are all wolves. And it's good that you are here, all of you, as you really are. So that you can run home and tell your masters what you have learned. I want you to tell them. Charles Xavier has made you an offer, one full of grace and brotherly love, but one that is also written in stone. This is not a negotiation. Things will be different now, and the sooner you realize the finality of your situation and the inevitability of ours, the sooner you will learn to be grateful for the things we are so generously giving you. Do you know what you sound like? I do. 
And it feels good to finally say it. So you summoned us here to Jerusalem to what? Threaten us? A promise is not a threat, Ambassador. And I summoned you to this place for wholly superficial reasons. You see, I know how you humans love your symbolism almost as much as you love your religion. And I wanted you, I needed you, to understand. You have new gods now. I have a new word for the lexicon of man. Krakoa. And in the future when you speak it, make sure you do so softly and with proper deference. For we will be listening.